The story of friends to foes regarding Sir Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg is infamous in Formula One, and it requires no introduction. In this video, I'm going to touch upon their journey from young kids with the aspiration of one day getting to Formula One to their eventual partnership at Mercedes, which will go down as one of the most toxic yet intriguing driver lineups of all time. Briefly looking at their backgrounds, Lewis and Nico were complete foils of each other. Nico Rosberg, the son of the wealthy Formula One champion Kiki Rosberg, was born in Germany but grew up in Monaco, while Lewis Hamilton, born in Stevenage, grew up in a council estate, and his father had to work multiple jobs in order to fund his junior racing career. Lewis Hamilton began karting in 1993 at the age of eight years old, at the Rye House Kart Circuit, where he swiftly began winning races and cadet class championships, while Nico Rosberg began karting in 1991 at the age of six. The pair of them met and became teammates in karting in the year 2000, where they raced for Mercedes-Benz McLaren in Formula A. Lewis Hamilton went on to win this European karting championship, with Nico Rosberg finishing not far behind, and Robert Kubica, who also raced with them, recalled how Lewis and Nico were competitive both on and off the track. The pair's old karting boss, Dino Chiesa, admitted Hamilton was the faster driver, whereas Rosberg was always more analytical. This meant that many instead believed that Rosberg would be the most successful of the two in the future, in Formula One. The two teammates then went on to take differing paths in their venture, in trying to get into F1. Hamilton was signed to the McLaren Young Drivers program in 1998, so he had that affiliation with McLaren from a young age, and he went on to win British Formula Renault, the Formula 3 Euro Series, and the GP2 Championship, setting him up to make his infamous McLaren debut in 2007 to partner the reigning two-time world champion of Fernando Alonso. Rosberg, on the other hand, won the 2002 German Formula BMW title, and then he eventually drove a Formula One car for the first time in testing for Williams in 2004. After winning the GP2 championship in 2005, Rosberg was confirmed as a Williams driver for the following year in 2006. Now fast-forwarding all the way to 2013, where the two would eventually reunite as teammates, we had the shocking announcement that Lewis Hamilton would be leaving McLaren to join Mercedes, signing a three-year contract. For the 2013 season, Hamilton scored his maiden victory for the team at Hungary, picking up one win for the season, with four podiums and five pole positions, coming fourth in the championship with 189 points. Rosberg had two victories that season at Monaco and Britain, and finished sixth in the standings with 171 points. The first signs of tension that season came in Malaysia, where Mercedes had implemented team orders and had told Rosberg to hold station in fourth place behind Hamilton, who went on to take third. However, nothing much came of it, and it was soon overshadowed by the well-documented Multi-21 incident. In 2014, which saw Mercedes absolutely nail the regulations, we witnessed an astonishing battle between the two, at Bahrain, which saw Lewis fend off the charging Nico on the softer compound of Tyre, who was also cheekily using a forbidden engine mode which supplied more power, and claim a narrow victory. After the race, the two engaged in a mock fight, and now looking back in hindsight, I think we can all agree that it very much foreshadowed their future intense rivalry. But tensions further arised when Hamilton found out that Mercedes had compiled a dossier for Rosberg to study on Hamilton's performance data. A few races further down the line we had Spain, where Hamilton managed to secure a narrow victory by only two-tenths. It was only found out until after the race that Lewis had been using the same forbidden engine mode that Rosberg used at Bahrain to fend him off. Again, this added to the tension. Two weeks later, we had the infamous Monaco qualifying session where Rosberg took to the escape road which saw him take a controversial pole. Rosberg was cleared of any wrongdoing but Hamilton believed otherwise. Rosberg then went on to win the race, with Lewis finishing in second, and it is here where we had the iconic interview where Lewis stated that him and Nico were no longer friends. But what about in terms of mending bridges with your friend? Uh, well, we're not friends. Um, you know, we, we're colleagues and we'll work to, we work to, to get the team as many one-twos and, and points as possible. Next, 
During the Hungarian Grand Prix for that season, we had further drama between the two. Rosberg qualified on pole, with Lewis starting from the back of the grid after suffering a fuel leak. However, in the race, Lewis carved his way through the grid and benefited with a safety car that came out in the middle of the race after Rosberg pitted. Lewis was instructed to let Rosberg, who was behind, to pass him, as he was on a different strategy. Hamilton refused, and Rosberg ultimately ended up behind Hamilton. Many believed that Lewis's decision costed Rosberg a potential win, but Nicky Lauda later came out in Hamilton's defense, and the incident was soon dropped. The two then had the well-known contact at the Belgium Grand Prix, which forced Hamilton to retire and Rosberg to get second place. After being booed on the podium, Rosberg was forced to apologize and suitable disciplinary measures were taken. However, some defended the German after Hamilton claimed he thought Rosberg had hit him deliberately. And to conclude the 2014 season, Hamilton went on to later become world champion. Hamilton finished the season with 384 points, recording 11 wins and 7 pole positions ahead of Rosberg, who finished with 317 points recording five wins and 11 pole positions. For the 2015 season, the two Mercedes drivers dominated, but it wasn't as contentious as the previous season, as Lewis Hamilton clinched the title early with three races to go, and there was a lot less incidents between the two. However, at the USA Grand Prix, which was the track in which Lewis obtained his third world championship, it was here where we had the iconic moment in which Nico threw back the cap in frustration at Lewis. And by the looks of it, Patty Lowe didn't seem to pleased about the whole ordeal. <laughs> Hamilton ended the season with 381 points, recording 10 wins and 11 pole positions to win the FIA pole trophy for most pole positions of the season and the DHL Fastest Lap Award. Rosberg finished the season with 322 points, recording 6 wins and 7 pole positions. After losing the title in Austin in 2015, Rosberg went on to then record a 7-race winning streak, which included the first 4 races of 2016. Going into the 2016 Spanish Grand Prix, Rosberg led Hamilton by 43 points, who then claimed pole position ahead of Rosberg. After a good start by both drivers, Rosberg managed to pass Hamilton going into turn one, but then suffered a loss of power due to an incorrect engine setting that he did during the formation lap. This allowed Hamilton to rapidly gain on Rosberg going into turn three, where Hamilton moved alongside to overtake. Roberg then forced Hamilton off track, which caused his car to lose control on the grass and then collide with Rosberg, taking both drivers out of the race. Both drivers blamed each other, but the stewards deemed it a racing incident. Nicky Lauda appeared to apportion more blame to Hamilton. Then, at the 2016 Austrian Grand Prix, Rosberg looked on course to win the race, but he was struggling with brake issues, which allowed Lewis to close within the final few laps. A mistake from Rosberg at turn one on the last lap allowed Hamilton to close up and give him better drive on the long run to turn three. Hamilton picked the outside, moving alongside Rosberg as they approached the corner. As Hamilton turned in to make the corner, Rosberg went straight on, causing a collision and damaging the German's front wing. Hamilton would pass to win the race, while Rosberg would drop to fourth in the final corners. Both Toto and Nicky were furious, with Lauda outwardly blaming Nico Rosberg, and Toto Wolff even threatened implementing team orders in the future if the two didn't get their acts together. Going into the final race of the 2016 season in Abu Dhabi, Rosberg entered the round with a 12-point lead over teammate Hamilton in the World Drivers' Championship. In the final laps of the race, Hamilton defied team orders, doing what any world champion would do in order to win, as he backed up Rosberg so that Vettel and Verstappen could attempt to pass him. Despite this, Rosberg finished in second and clinched his maiden world championship by five points over Hamilton. Wolf later conceded Mercedes got it wrong in issuing team orders, regretted the decision to interfere, and should have let the drivers race. Five days later, Rosberg did the unthinkable 
and announced his retirement from F1 at the FIA prize giving ceremony in Vienna. Hamilton said responded to the news by saying, this is the first time he's won in 18 years, hence why it was not a surprise that he decided to stop. As teammates, Hamilton and Rosberg won 54 of 78 races over four seasons. Hamilton had 32 victories in comparison to Rosberg's 22. Hamilton had 55 podiums to Rosberg's 50, and Hamilton qualified ahead of Rosberg 42 times, while Rosberg qualified ahead of Hamilton 36 times. Over their four years of being teammates, Hamilton beat Rosberg 3-1, with Hamilton picking up two championships and Rosberg picking up one championship.